Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. I hope by now that you're one of the millions of people who have seen the movie Black Panther. If not, don't worry, no spoilers here. Just an inspiring look at how 3D printing helped Queen Ramonda to achieve her royal highness Literally, let's back up. Last year, I caught my very first runway fashion show at an additive manufacturing conference. So all the fashions strutting down the catwalk had major 3D printed elements. I happened to run into one of the designers on the trade show floor, Yulia Kerner. She took one look at my Matter Hackers t-shirt and was like, oh, I use your filament for my prototypes on my Raise 3D. What? Back in LA, she invited me to her studio and I was blown away by her story. Yulia is an Austrian-born architect and lecturer at UCLA. She started as a product designer in London and then moved into fashion, where she uses 3D printing to mimic organic shapes like this one, uh, portobello mushrooms, underwater sea creatures, pine cones. These were all things lying around in her studio. And you could totally see their influence in her haute couture designs for Iris von Herpen, which brings us back to Black Panther. When costume designer Ruth E. Carter envisioned garments that were inspired by African culture, but looked like they could not have been made by hand, she sought out current technology that mirrored that innovative spirit of the Wakandan tribe. Yulia designed the pieces in CAD software based on Angela Bassett's specific measurements, and then they were laser centered at Materialize in Belgium using the world's largest 3D printer. The pieces had to look like fine cloth and lace, but be made rigid enough to hold their shape and form when the actor was performing. Yulia even had accidental influence on the set design of the lab in the movie. Those super futuristic lamps that you see there are from an Artemide collection that she helped to design years ago. She had no idea they were going to be using them in the movie until she got to the set. This was Yulia's first Hollywood movie, and it won't be her last. Although people might think of these costumes as computer generated and engineered, Yulia says it was the human element that made it all work. The collaboration of costume illustrators, set designers, the writers who came up with the characters, the actors, all of these different art forms coming together had a huge influence on the final pieces. Yulia's previous work had only been on pretty limited display. Her friends and family haven't exactly been able to catch a runway show or go to an architectural museum exhibit, so they didn't quite get what she did for a living. Now everyone can see how architecture and 3D printing can come together to create wearable art in the exact art room that this was created for, just by hopping down to your local movie theater. And that's exciting for all of us who know how awesome 3D printing can be. Yulia hopes that seeing her work in this movie will inspire and motivate young girls and boys to get into STEAM fields, to keep advancing science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and find their own ways of mashing them all together for their own unique career. What kinds of wearables are you printing? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear about it. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Wakanda forever. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.